So today's Bible study will be more of kind of like learning about a specific topic and today I wanted to learn a little bit more about discernment. It's something that I know what it is but um, I don't really know what it is if you know what I mean so let's study it together. Dear friends, do not believe every spirit but test the spirits to see whether they are from God because many false prophets have gone out into the world. 1 John chapter 4 verse 1. Discernment in my opinion is the ability to judge a situation and it's more about careful decision making and the word careful what it really can stand in for is spiritual so we have the Spirit of God in us and that Spirit of God within us helps us to have discernment and that's how we are able to judge situations and not judge people but kind of judge one's motives um, and kind of make that decision carefully with the Holy Spirit guiding us. It's the ability to be able to judge truth from a lie. However, you're not able to discern truth from a lie. If, if you're not able to discern truth from a lie, then you're also probably not able to make biblical-based decisions. And that even is the reverse. If you don't know the Bible, and you can't make biblical-based decisions, then how are you supposed to be able to discern a truth from a lie? So it goes hand in hand. We have to know the word for ourselves in order to be able to tell what's true and what's a lie. To me, developing discernment is kind of like a muscle. The more you read the word and study it, the greater level of discernment you will have. And discernment comes with spiritual maturity. So when you're a new Christian, it's kind of difficult to discern situations and truth from a lie because you're new you know you're new in Christ you don't know the word that much yet and the more you learn about the word and the the more that you walk with God and you learn to to know when you know the Holy Spirit is guiding you into a certain situation or a particular decision then that discernment muscle gets stronger and you'll really get a good sense of what God is leading you to do and I'm going to do a whole entire separate video very soon on how to hear God's voice and how to, how to have God guide you. That's coming soon. You can't judge right from wrong if you don't know the word. And I think I said that before. 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verses 12 through 16, it says, What we have received is not the spirit of the world, but the spirit who is from God, so that we may understand what God has freely given us. This is what we speak, not in words taught to us by human wisdom, but in words taught by the Spirit, explaining spiritual realities with, with Spirit-taught words. The person without the Spirit does not accept the things that come from the Spirit of God, but considers them foolishness and cannot understand them because they are discerned only through the Spirit. The person with the Spirit makes judgments all about things, because, but such a person is not subject to merely human judgments. For who has known the mind of the Lord so as to instruct him? but we have the mind of Christ. So I'll just explain what this scripture is talking about. It basically is saying that we have the Holy Spirit when we accept Christ into our lives, we expect we accept the Spirit of God into our hearts. And because of that, it's always with us at all times. So we have access to the Holy Spirit at all times. A person without the Spirit, and that's talking about the Spirit of God, does not accept the Word and its teaching. So those who are not saved. We have the mind of Christ. As believers to interpret right from wrong so that scripture is saying that although we ourselves you know just as in our human nature we don't know right from wrong but because we have accepted Jesus into our hearts we have the Holy Spirit and therefore we have the mind of Christ in order to discern right from wrong and of course this comes with spiritual maturity it comes with maturity spiritual maturity and it comes with time and the longer you walk with God the more that muscle will develop and you will better have a, a good a better grasp on discerning situations. So I hope this clarified discernment and what it means to some people. I, I hope it was helpful. Um, thank you so much for watching this video as always and I'll see you next time.